Hello. So I've been foraging at the river again, and I wanted to bring to you the three different types of Usnea uh, tree lichen that we have here in southern middle Tennessee that I've been collecting. Now, I don't know the technical names for them. I'm still learning that, but I have researched the... Um, the properties of all of these what is called fruticose lichen and that is the hairy long fluffy lichens and the foliose lichen are the tree lichen that that you most commonly see on trees uh, I'll dig one out in a minute but I have noticed this one that has these small flat tips on it. Now it's not as tasty as the other fruticose lichen that I've been getting, which is this kind. You see, it truly is like hair. Uh, it's it doesn't have any tips. And it's it's soft and fluffy. Now, uh, for reference, Spanish moss is a type of tree lichen. So, I have those. And then, I called this yellow. But, online, it calls it uh, orange. Looks yellow to me. But, I would say it's really kind of a... A goldenrod color move move Yoda I need the light let's do that so um, this is called telochistus I believe uh, it is another type of tree lichen that grows around here this is another example of the foliose lichen now these lichens are very tasty and they are used in perfumes and cooking. It gives it a woodsy flavor, uh, obviously, uh, but it's, it's the, the term is umami. It's a savory type uh, flavor. These are also used as emulsifiers, thickening agents in cooking. So, I, I, as I'm learning, just like I did with the Varosa, and as I'm doing with the Mullen and the other plants, I wanted to bring to you uh, some of these various examples of what we have in Tennessee. Now, none of these even have a look-alike that is poisonous. Um, the uh, only poisonous lichen in America is called wolf lichen and it is a lime green uh, it has it has a growth like this one and it's bright lime green and it's called wolf lichen it grows in the Pacific Northwest but again now this is that foliose lichen that I know, especially if you're a farm person or you've got woods or if you just examine trees, you see this all the time. So I I have gathered uh, quite a quite a large bowl of it today, and what I do is I separate it out by the type, and I dry them, and I keep them separately in jars as they're drying in my usual drying method and the ones that are have more yellow pigment to them like this one are the ones that are higher in oozenic acid and you should you should google that it's it's got all kinds of benefits it's u s n i c acid and the plant name itself is Usnea, U-S-N-E-A, and you'll see that in the title. But I did want to bring you these three types that I am finding here in southern middle Tennessee. And yes, I'm eating them regularly. And uh, the one thing that I have noticed 
uh, my energy has increased. This is the only difference that I've I've done since I started adding these into my diet. I have had an increase in energy, and I have not had any respiratory issues at all. So again, uh, they also say that that these the usnic acid uh, is supposed to help you lose weight. I I don't know if it does or not, but I do know that this is scientifically proven. There's the chemical studies that show that these are extremely beneficial. And remember, we need to add these wild things into our diet because antiviral, anti-inflammatory, antifungal, antibacterial, anti all the bad things, and a list full of all the good things. So, Remember to eat the wild things, and until next time, goodbye.